Hello Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. So my name is Jade, for those of you who are new here, we will be doing a reading today for you to see what is coming up for you and also check in with your angels and see who's protecting you right now and I will also be closing off with some musical oracles and some charms at the end. So let's get started Aquarius and see what these cards have to say for you today. Starting off with the tarot cards, let's see who, uh, sorry, let's see what is coming up for you, Aquarius. Remember, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for others. If you would like me to check out your own personal energy, I'd love for us to connect on that deeper level. Just look in the description of the video and it will tell you what you need to do there. I've also got a second channel as well, Aquarius, called Jade's Weekly Tarot. And over there I do um I do readings for all the zodiac signs as well as Aquarius, of course. So if you fancy an extra reading from me every single week, then just head on over to there. I'd love to have you. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what is coming up for you. Yes, <laughs> big changes. Oh, you have the magician. Wow. Oh, okay. Right, Aquarius, I'm already picking up a few storylines here. I will get specific storylines for some of you there. The first one I'm picking up is there's going to be some dramatic changes happening in your life. I do see a very big transformation. This is you ending an energy so that a new one can begin. Um, the death card is all about you realising that something needs to change and you are willing to say goodbye to the old you so that you can be a new um, and reformed version of yourself. This is very big growth and it's right next to the magician card telling me that this big change is something to do with your own beliefs. I think you will just have... Um, you will just get the sense that you are able to do whatever it is that you need to do. The magician is someone who is magic, basically. Whatever they touch, it turns into gold. They can put their hand to anything and they can make something out of nothing, really. If you have been feeling like you aren't capable, if you've been um, struggling with self-doubt, perhaps you have the, this negative voice in your head telling you you can't do something, this is an energy that will be ending for you and I see you actually realising your true potential. You're going to be feeling very proud of yourself, Aquarius. This is very big energy. Um, in fact, you won't even recognise yourself when this is through. That's what I feel here with these cards. The Six of Pentacles is in the reverse position. So for some of you, I think this is a wake-up call. I think you realise that you have maybe been taken advantage of or perhaps you are putting into something that isn't giving you something back. This can be in the form of connections. Maybe you are putting a lot of energy and effort into connections. Maybe it's all take, take, take and you're willing to do anything for anyone but when you need help, no one really helps. And this is the wake up call. It's like no more. I'm just going to look after myself. I don't need anybody else. I've got my own back and I'm not going to rely on people that I can't really trust to be there. So that is another message I'm picking up for some of you. For others of you, this could be something to do maybe with your work. Maybe you find that you are being overworked. Maybe your boss is asking a little bit too much of you and they're not willing to pay you for it. Maybe they are taking advantage of your kind nature. Um, maybe you have felt like you were a people pleaser before. And this is an energy that you want to change. You want to put you first for change. And that's why we have the um, the tower here. Big, big moments are going to be happening. 
I think your life is about to like dramatically just transform into something new and it starts with this realisation that you are a good person Aquarius, that you are capable of getting yourself where you need to be, you don't need to rely on people or if someone's been giving you fake promises, if they have been, um, you know, if they've been taking a lot of, of, of energy from you but not necessarily they they are not necessarily willing to give energy themselves that's just something that i'm hearing here this could be a partnership maybe i'm not sure what this is it's just you're you're ready now for change you're ready to stop um having this being took from you all of the time you're sick of being drained that's what i'm hearing it's hard to get these messages across i do apologize but that's i'm getting a lot all at once um, and the tower tells me that there's going to be a very big moment in your life, Aquarius, where something is going to be brought to the ground. And I see this happening. I see that whatever it is that you've built up, you found that this isn't working for you. And you're saying, right, enough is enough. I've had enough now. It's all getting brought to the ground so that you can rebuild upon it. Some people say that the, that the tower card is a is a scary card, but I don't see it that way. I see it as a chance to rebuild. It's a fresh start. That's what I'm getting at. It is a fresh start and it, and it, and it, it enables you to build upon this and make something better. So that's what I get here. I also see your beliefs being challenged. I see you changing your mind about something. Maybe you have had a strong and firm belief um, that you do need people, that these certain individuals or this certain situation in your life in order to achieve something. This is changing because you will just start to put that belief in yourself. So it will go inward rather than outward. And that in itself, Aquarius, is very powerful. It is a very powerful moment that's happening for you right now. So big changes, big energy, and I just feel this sense of independence washing over you. Um, and it will give you that confidence boost that you need as well. So let's see what you don't see coming. You know how, na how nosy I am. And uh, I want to get right into this. I just... I hope I learn how to speak properly. <laughs> I'm a little bit tongue-tied at the moment. I'm just flustered with all of these energies and these messages. It's like, it's hard to put into words uh, how big this is. That's that's literally what I feel. It's hard to put into words, but I'm trying. So please bear with me. It's also been a crazy morning. My daughter started college, so we've been running about with that and... Um, you know, I'm a little bit nervous, hoping her day goes well, so everything's just chaotic at the moment. That's why I'm a little bit late with getting a reading out, so I do apologise. So firstly, we have Aquarius, the Three of Pentacles, with the King of Wands. Yes, there's going to be some support coming in for you, Aquarius, and I see that you will make new connections. If you haven't already got these connections already, these are people who will actually lift you up. They will bring you up rather than drag you down. And I see you stepping into your own power here. I see you being a leader. I also see you inspiring these people to do better as well. I think you're going to be the one that says something. I think you're going to be the, the revolutionary. I mean, us Aquarians, we are. We have no problem leading um, an, an army or starting a rebellion of we we think outside of the box and that's what i see here we are freedom we we do search for that freedom um and we express individuality and that's what i see here i see it being respected i see others looking up to you and actually saying oh well if aquarius can do this maybe i can do this too so this person or this situation that was draining you it won't have its power over anybody anymore because it will be known to be um fake really so let's see what else there's the three of wands with the six of wands yes opportunities are coming in this is the energy i'm feeling the three of ones tells me your ships are about to arrive i see that any plans that you have been making or that you will make you're going to be executing these plans um very soon i feel very soon you will be executing these plans and just acting out on what you think you should do 
you're not sitting back anymore you're not putting pen to paper this is the next step it's actually doing something and the six of wands tells me you will be pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and you're going to have a victory other people will also be um, celebrating this victory with you as I said before you're inspiring others it's like you're leading your own rebellious army that's literally what I'm what I'm feeling here um so yeah it's very big energy and it's just it, it's going to it make you feel so proud of yourself firstly that's what I feel but there is going to be a goal and you will reach it I've also wow there's the ten of cups with the three of swords that's a big combination there a very different contrast so the ten of cups tells me that you will be feeling fulfilled and because you will be feeling fulfilled, it, it kind of starts off this healing process. Any hurt energy of the past, any wounds that you may still carry with you, um, it will be filled. And I see those, those missing pieces being added. It's like I'm picturing a jigsaw here where you find all the pieces and you put it back together again. That's what I get. And I just see this is going to be something that will lift you up. It will help you grow. It will help you recover as well. And you will feel an enormous sense of satisfaction and happiness. That's what I get here. Let's see what else. There's the King of Cups with Judgment. Okay, you're following your heart now. You are listening to what's inside of your heart and you are making those judgment calls. That's what you're, you are using to guide you along this path. You want to be happy. You want to be, be, be fulfilled. And you know what, Aquarius, why not? Why shouldn't you be? You know, I mean, I know we have to work and we have responsibilities, but why can't we be happy as well? It's about finding that balance. That's what it is. It's about finding that balance. And don't let anything drain you. Don't let it take too much. Keep a little back for yourself. Let's do two more. There's the lover's card and there's the page of wands. Big choices are coming up and I see that there's a new path opening up for you. There's a new adventure. I see a new adventure and you will be feeling curious to explore this adventure Aquarius because the page of wands is someone who is a, who is curious. They want to see what's on the other side. They want to see what's in the forest. They aren't afraid to climb that tree and just, just take a look. And that's what I see here for you. Big choices are coming up because the lover's card is about dualities. There could be a connection coming in as well. Maybe you will meet someone on this new journey. Maybe this new person person will will share a passionate spark just as much as you i also see you having some fun if you're single and, and you're going out dating why not you know but you will be living life um more to the fullest that's what i'm hearing you will be living life to the fullest um it won't be as boring that's what i get because some of you may be in a bit of a rut i see things being more um, uplifted and, and you will be feeling excited and enthusiastic and just having this zest this energy for life that's what I get here with these cards let's see what you will see coming throughout this process Aquarius but I have loved this reading there's the two of cups some of you there's definitely a connection okay so I do see you connecting with others Um, I see for some of you it could be a romance if you're single let me know the juicy gossip you know I love a gossip um so yeah good luck <laughs> I do see romance for some of you for others of you this is just an energy exchange and I see a flowing of energies so this could be due to connections as I said or situations maybe you will actually find um the career or job or project whatever this is um, you will find one that suits you and that matches your energy and effort it won't just be take 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 you're actually now going to be seeing an even flow so you can get back what you put in so that's what I get here with this with this reading this has been wonderful let's check in with your angels as your angels as well let's see who has your back at the moment Aquarius <laughs> okay so let's see who has your back at the moment Aquarius if you've enjoyed this reading please could you drop a like and a comment on it I love to read your comments they really make my day 
and it helps this channel to grow as well so um thank you for that and please consider subscribing this channel is dedicated to the sign of aquarius you'd be very welcome here because i'm an aquarius myself and i think we are wonderful so we need um a channel just for us okay aquarius oh we have a flipper already just the one okay who do we have so we have cassiel oh wow she's the number seven keeper of karma and time okay um she's also connected with boundaries time um, discipline solitude rules tears the paradox of light versus dark so it's finding that even balance isn't it um obsidian is a crystal the day saturday so something could be happening for you on saturday and also think twice so have a rethink um, and make sure you choose things carefully i help you balance your karma and teach you how to grow through life's challenges trials and tribulations that is beautiful and i'm noticing the dragons there beautiful card let's get your musical oracles as well dragons are very powerful um energies they're also a symbol of good luck as well so you are very lucky aquarius right now If you've heard this singer recently on the radio or you hear them just after this reading or perhaps you enjoy listening to them, it validates the reading even further. Ooh. We've got three for you Aquarius. The first one is Mr Johnny Cash. Making the right enemies is just as important as making the right friends. Heaven or hell, it's up to you. Again, I'm getting that light and dark contrast here. Um, and darkness is your friend. I do see you making friends with um, the dark areas of your life. Maybe just getting to know yourself better and giving yourself that understanding and learning to appreciate and accept all of you as, as a whole. Let's see what else. There's James Brown. Knock him dead, then leave. Don't quit moving until it's payback time. And when you're ready to get on up, it's time to get down. Oh, Bob Marley. We've got all the men. Bob Marley. A small axe can fell the, t the tallest tree. The fruits of Babylon are rotten to the core. And everything that is holy is among us here on earth wow beautiful let's get your charms aquarius but first let me just thank you for being here it really does make a difference that you've watched this far um and also again if you do want a personal just look in the description of the video let's get your charms aquarius okay Oh, we have a skull here so this skull tells me that you will have the power to think you are intelligent anyway Aquarius and that beautiful brain will be coming um, of use of, to you very soon I also see if you've been feeling unwell lately uh, you will be starting to heal and feel better of course get yourself checked out if you need to I have an anchor here so this can represent a ship or a boat maybe you enjoy water sports um, or maybe you're going on a cruise or a boat sometime soon but this does represent for me security it represents you being anchored and feeling like you're safe with your foundations I have a horse here Aquarius some of you may like horses some of you may ride them or live near a farm um, this tells me that you are very driven you are very powerful and very hard working and I see others do rely on you as well we have the number five so the fifth month may be of importance to you or perhaps the number five may be connected to you in some way i have a frog here this tells me that you will be uh, jumping from one opportunity to the next so there's going to be new opportunities being brought forward to you aquarius you just need to keep an eye out and make sure you recognize them 
Um, but I do see you being an opportunist as well. Someone who is hopeless, is that hopeless? Hopeful. <laughs> You're certainly not hopeless, Aquarius. Uh, hopeful and someone who um, sees something and they actually go after it. Doesn't matter of the risk. And I see every time you get knocked down, you actually pick yourself back up again. So you are very resilient, very reliable, Aquarius. And someone who doesn't give up in a hurry. It's what frogs do, isn't it? When they can't catch a fly, they move on to the next or they just keep at it. And that's what I see there. This is about your goals, Aquarius, and you can achieve them. So I've, I've loved this, as I said before. I hope you have a fantastic day, Aquarius, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now. You take care.